Hit that button. Hit that 12. button. Number 12. Who are you, number 12? Let's look at the paper. Patrick Shavira. Patrick Shavira. Patrick Shavira, are you here? <laughs> All right, what's up, guys? It's a put him in the back tournament. Finally got here. We've got the four YouTubers you guys all know and love. We've got Chen Si, Fishing Chef, Taku, what's up? Adam, we've got Captain Miguel, and we've got our winner. It took five guys, but hey, it's going. Here we go. What's your name? Patrick. Patrick. All right, you finally made it out. So that's the guy that you guys all hate because he's taking your spot. If you guys entered, he's the guy that's taking your spot. Patrick. Hundred dollars back to you as promised. Thank you. Right, and that's that ticket. Please give it to Miguel to secure your spot on the Native Anglers. Put him in the bag tournament, sponsored by Native Anglers. So yeah, I told you guys that we were gonna have a lot of stuff, and boy, do we! Pissifun, uh, Lunker Lords, Mac Jigs, they all came through. Uh, real power handles. So just wanted to give you guys a quick tour, of all the stuff that is up for grab. So basically, just for showing up, everyone here today is gonna get. A pack here. You're gonna get the small piece of fun pack, their pliers, um, the best real power handles jig that uh, I've used out here, um, some hand tied leaders here, and some fishing lines. So if everybody wants to, go ahead and uh, pick a pack Ooh. out. Everything That's here awesome. is in here. So different colors, just go ahead and pick one. So that's yours to keep. Just for showing up. Thanks for all the support from these guys. And uh, yeah, so that's theirs to keep. So if you uh, if you made it, you would have walked away with that. All right. So that's just that's just starting the day off, right? Up for grabs is uh, a lot more stuff. So we're gonna have uh, multiple tournaments throughout the day. So you probably don't have room on the boat, but if everyone wants to take out this lure, we're gonna have the 2018 jig off. We're gonna all use this lure on one lift and see if we can uh, all catch a fish biggest fish to catch with this lure is going to win uh, these lures right here. These are hand-tied uh, bucktails from Mac Jigs. Check out a local maker. He makes these beautiful hand-tied, hand-dipped uh, jigs right here. Rockfish magnets right here, as well as these crocodile spoons from realpowerhandles.com. Big link cods with this. You've seen those in my videos. And today, the name of the game is the heaviest fish. Not necessarily biggest or longest, but the heaviest. Using the new Pissifun scale slash gripper combo, we're gonna use this to weigh the heaviest fish. Look at that, waterproof, salt water rated, awesome. And the biggest fish is going to land uh, the winner, this whole pack here. So you've got uh, the $100 big, awesome backpack, has a bunch of like lure bags inside. It's like basically waterproof, really bomb. Nice stuff here. Uh, line winder, t-shirt, their new reel, all kinds of stuff. Probably like $300 in merchandise here um, to go along with the $100 in merchandise that I just gave them. So we're doing it big this year. Who knows what I'm gonna be giving away next year. I might be giving away Chen Z's hat. It's gonna be awesome, 2019. Oh, and then uh, everybody gets a jersey too. So we'll throw that in the mix too. So yeah, so a lot of swag, but enough talking. You guys are probably watching this to see us catch some fish and maybe to eat some too. So again, thanks everybody for joining. Boom, boom, boom. Have a fun, safe day on the water. Adam, try not to barf on my camera. Aim it in their direction. We'll see you on the water. Let's go. All right, we made it out to the water. 2018, put them in the bag tournament. These are the stakes. Biggest fish wins. The heaviest fish is weighed by that scale. Biggest fish is gonna go home with that top prize. And we also have a, a nice bet going on. $20 buy-in, $120 cash prize for the biggest fish on top of the prize that's uh, weighting one of those guys back the truck. So you guys ready? Everyone's geared up? Yeah. Everyone's ready? No excuses? Miguel, sound the horn, kick this off. Let's go. Yeah. Woo! Fish on! <laughs> Not yet. Oh man. You do have a fish on. What the hell? <laughs> I told you it's gonna go it's gonna go fast. Alright, first fish on board was that 120 bucks? Fish on baby. <laughs> They're not o oh that's a fatty. Woo! Whoa! Whoa. Dude, that's a huge olive. Go up. That's a huge. Whew. Hey, Daiwa SK jig. I think that's the biggest. Uh, that's the biggest olive I've seen. Whew. All right, just 
I want to show you my PB olive right here. This guy's probably like a three pounder. Ooh, Look at that. Double. Look at that. He's got a big old squid. Oh, look at this. Whoa. Whoa. That's, wow, look at that big one. Dude, is that a vermilion? Well, yeah. Yeah, okay. Back to fishing. Sweet. What? Oh, no. Whoo. Another huge olive. Whoa. I think I just broke my, my PV olive. Damn. That's my PV olive. Back to back PV olives. That's crazy. Oh, good size one. All right, gonna weigh him up here with the. <laughs> yeah, I told you, man. New Pisifun weight scale gripper here. All right, pound and ounces. We're in America still, right? Let's let's weigh him up. Hey, just wanted to get bit with that thing. Oh. Was it, but, uh, more, was it more than fishing? Yeah. You wanted to get bit by that thing. Oh boy. All right, now it says 15.3, so oh, it's about we'll, 15, yeah. we'll call it, yeah, we'll call it 15, 15.3. Yeah. Cool. Congrats, yeah, man. In thanks, the lead. Man. Thanks, man. Nice. Look at that. Tournament winning fish. All right, we gave it 15.3. Man, we've only been out for maybe 20 minutes, half an hour actually fishing. Ooh, Adam actually looks like he's pegged on something. So, yeah, action heating up in the tournament. The lucky sub in the lead could be $120, maybe $400 fish. Yeah, awesome. All right, we've moved into the part of the day where we have the first annual jig off sponsored by realpowerhandles.com. Steven sent me a bunch of these awesome five, I think, and a half ounce of butterfly jigs. His take on the Shimano butterfly jig and uh, flutter flat fall style. You send it to the bottom, reel up, kind of pump it, and then let it kind of fall. And as it falls, it flutters and imitates a dying bait fish. So we've got the chart and chrome side here. These uh, have been pretty effective for me. So I outfitted every angler here with their own. So for the next 20 minutes, we're gonna see who can catch the biggest fish and the person to catch the biggest fish with this lure and this lure only will win all those hand-painted hand-tied uh, Mac bucktails as well as those five and seven ounce crocodile spoons so um, a lot on the line probably I don't know fifty dollars worth of lures um, that they could win so you guys ready yeah. all right here we go 20 minutes and <laughs> That's oh too bad 20 minutes <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, no. oh. No. come on you son of a gun uh. come on I gotta land it oh oh it's China oh. <laughs> all right well that was a fast 20 minutes pretty rough 20 minutes I think that was like the fastest drift of the day too and uh Man, that jig didn't really produce for anyone, but I blame conditions, not the jig. Let's take a look at the winning fish. All right, a little maybe one pound china, something like that, just enough to capture the uh, the winning lures and jigs from uh, Mac Jigs and a real power handle. So these guys are all staring at me like, are you really gonna keep the jigs from your own tourney? I just might, or I might give it away to a sub or something like that. But you better follow my Instagram if you want to get a chance at possibly winning. If I decide to give them up, we'll see. We'll see. At Ish with Fish on Instagram, follow along, and uh, maybe I'll send it to you. Maybe. Maybe. All right, just an update. We got blown off the water after a little competition, so we had like a 40-minute kind of hell ride back into Stillwater Cove. So we parked here, re-geared up. I don't know if you can see it. Might be out of frame, but kind of go with my ghetto rig wing cod cam so this is just a kind of a sacrificial fake gopro i think it's the icon tech something or other camera that you've seen featured in other videos before i actually stuck this on my gaff and uh footage actually turned out pretty good so i'm gonna send this down got it tied to lunker lord's leader here and uh send it down to like 80 foot water something like that if I can get a lingcod strike on it, I'll be so happy. I've been trying to get one for about a year and a half, but this is probably the second time only I've ever tried it. So it's not a proper water wolf, but maybe it's just enough to get that uh, that bite on camp. So once we get out to the water, it's looking a lot better than uh, out there than it was uh, where we were previously. So hopefully the fish are still uh, suspended and feeding and we can actually get one on this camp. So I'll see you out there. There's big old fish right here though. 
I called him earlier. <laughs> Wait, where, where's the horn? Where's the horn? So, I don't know if I have anything. No camera. Oh, I lost it. Oh, man. Wow. Oh, there goes my custom bucktail. Yeah, at least I kept the camera. Well, maybe we have footage of it. Yeah, that's true. Maybe it was the biggest fish in the, in the ocean. Let's take a look at that lingcod hit again and break it down. The top teaser swim bait on this rig is 7 inches long, and the mono used for this rig is 40 pounds. And it would take a pretty big lingcod to inhale the entire swim bait, and with one turn of the head, break that mono. Now judging by the length of the swim bait in relation to the length of the lingcod head, in relation to the rest of its body, and the fact that it was pretty lean in the late fall months when they normally spawn, I pegged this sling at about 30 inches, a male, which puts it in about the 10 pound range. All I know is it had enough power with one turn of its head to break 40 pound mono and take off. I guess I'll never know. Whoa! Damn, dude! Whoa, that's a giant fish! Whoa! Is he big? Oh, that's my line. Oh, yeah! Whoa, that's how that's done. Woo! Nice. Wow, look at that. In all the way. Inhaled it. Damn. Damn. Nice, dude. 10 ounce. Where's the weight? Oh, okay, let, let it go. Oh, 15 something. Oh, no, wait. 13. Oh, dang. 14 even. Do it one more time. Wow, second place, I think. This is the tiny conventional penfishingreels.com. Little baby reel, look at that. It's just barely big enough to fit my thumb here. I don't have too much line capacity left. Oh! Fish on! Yeah! Yeah! Woohoo! That was a good bait. Goliath Trooper. <laughs> it's a, compared to this reel. Yes, Goliath Trooper. <laughs> they always come back. Oh. Oh, snaggy. Oh. No. No. Is it a fish though? Oh. No. <laughs> oh. Is a fish? Is a fish on though? <laughs> oh wait! I think so. Oh, do you let go? Oh, no, 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 no. oh dude, he's happy. Oh, uh, oh he got something. something. Fish got something. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, that's a big link cut again. Damn, Adam. Nice, dude. Link cut master. Wow, this is me on link cut today. Woo! <laughs> oh, you got a link cut too? Uh, here comes another one. Oh, it's a link cab zone. Cab? No, it's a link. Yeah, cab half. It's a cab. Oh, nice! I've never caught one before. Yeah! My first cab. Woo! Yes! Sweet! My first cab! Lobster fish! Yes! Lobster fish? Wait, wait, they always say it, it ta tastes like lobster. I don't know if I agree, but... <laughs> hey, just let me live, man. Let me live my best life. Yes! Sweet! You got a cabbie? Fat cabbie! Awesome! Nice! Cabazon! Nice. Look at that! Lobster fish! <laughs> Lobster fish! At 150 feet, too. Look at that. Dang! That one just came up, too. 
Wow, that guy's all tore up. That guy sees some, seeing some action, huh? Way in before he throws up. <laughs> With his brand new, brand new digital water, digital waterproof salt resistant. Makes yeah, French fries. Yeah. It just going crazy for a second. Oh, well, there might be somebody on it. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Did it stick? 11 pounds. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a thing to be sad about. Oh, 11 pounds. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, you can, it, you're you like, can, oh. you, can, you can go home with me, buddy. Awesome you can go home awesome, with me. Man. Nice, man. Was that bigger than the first one? Uh, yeah. Sweet. So. Yeah, that's definitely bigger than the first one. Sweet, so dude. Nice. <laughs> All right, well. I think that concludes the 2018 Put in the Bag Charter Tournament featuring native anglers. I want to congratulate Patrick over here. Yeah. The sub that came through yeah. got his money back and then some. Well, actually, wait, you got a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, you didn't have to pay for anything. Yeah. <laughs> well, so not only does he win uh, the, uh, the, the cash pot, but he wins all the goodies that you saw as the grand prize um, back at the harbor. So speaking of, nice. let's all clean up. Let's jet over there and uh, let's get to cooking. Yeah, Woo! Cook. Let's do it. Here's my catch and cook. <laughs> huh. Cheers for everyone watching still. So how was it, man? Was oh, it man. a was it it was a little bit of a rough Great start? But, it was fun. Yeah, dude, yeah. but but I don't think this guy's ever caught a ling and uh first one. Yeah, first one and he brought his ten dollar rod out here <laughs> and his big crabbing reel and outfish all all, all these professionals. All right, so we finally come to the part that you guys have all been waiting for, more importantly that we've all been waiting for over here on this side of the lens. We've seen the catches, we've seen the cooks, and uh, it's time for the best part, the eating. So thanks again to Die Hard Fishing, Outdoor Chef Life, Fishing Chef, congratulations for our son. Patrick, Miguel's not with us because he's actually on the water right now with his brother doing a little tour of the harbor and uh, more food for us, right? So you guys, thanks everyone for joining. I hope you guys had a lot of fun today. Yeah, it really worked out the way I imagined it would be. And uh, I can't wait to indulge in some fresh fish. Bait the plate, probably less than two hours. So as fresh as you can get. And uh, yeah, dude, let's let's grub. <laughs> Please, sir, I want some more. I got more. Nice. That's not really good, too. That looks great, man. Just some more? Oh, sure. one. Yeah, I'll take more. Right. I'm good, I'm good. So we're gonna, we're gonna go with uh, Takus first here. Yeah. I feel like there's more delicate, delicate flavors going on. Mm. Yeah, that sauce is great. Oh yeah, mm. and that crunch is that crunchiness. Mmm, that's me hungry too. <laughs> mm, thank you. I did all the work. Oh man, look at that. Whoa. Wow. Man, there's so many flavors going on right now. Moving on to Chenzi, here we go. Uh, what would you call this recipe? Beer, beer, beer marinade. Special. Beer marinade? Yeah. YouTube, beer, beer YouTube marinade. special? Okay, beer, everything beer, goes good with beer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat it and then put beer in my mouth to help it marinate more. Mmm. <laughs> it's almost like it's a beer marinated lingcod with a bunch of like spices and stuff. There's like a robust sweetness to it. It's, it's hearty. It tastes like, you know what it tastes like? It tastes like a really good beer battered fish without the beer batter coating, without the jacket on it. Very good, very good. And now, creme de la creme, the bacon wrapped lingcod chunk. Right here, this is the piece that I think, that I think everybody like had to stop by and make a comment right here. They said it was unfair and unlawful to be cooking bacon and not have enough for everyone. Kind of like the teacher in class saying, you don't have enough gum for everyone, don't chew it. So here we go. I think I'm gonna try to do this in two bites here. You know everything goes goes better with bacon. 
<laughs> America! <laughs> what was that about? One more thing before I go. I'm gonna dip it in taku sauce over here. Move down to Chenzi sauce over here. Get the triple YouTube flavor combo going. Mmm. Wrapping it up here. Final bite. All the YouTube flavors in one. If you guys ever wanted to live vicariously through somebody and experience what you see on YouTube. Hopefully. Patrick's your boy. He came through. Not only did he live through it, but he killed us on the water. Yeah. Dude, he's going home with like four hundred dollars cash and prizes. That's awesome. So I'm actually super happy that this guy won. I'm really happy that these guys are losers. <laughs> but you know what? You know what? No one's a loser today. Everyone's just a winner, especially you guys who came through and uh, got to experience this with us. So I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks, everyone, for subscribing and watching, participating in the giveaway that took forever. And uh, <laughs> Patrick, thanks for, like, showing up. <laughs> so thanks to Patrick, Taku, Adam, Chenzi, and Miguel, wherever you are. Thanks to uh, Emmanuel. James and Michael for supporting the tourney. I really appreciate your support. Till next time, we'll see you next time. Thanks for following along. Thanks to you guys again. Awesome day. Couldn't have asked for anything more. And uh, yeah, nothing, nothing less than it. Go, go, subscribe to all these guys. Subscribe to Patrick too. Won't regret it. Bye.